So this shop has done over $900,000 in sales, selling spells. In this video, I'm about to show you five Etsy shop ideas that can replace your day job. And if you stick around to the last one, it's kind of strange and kind of spooky. So typically we go over a whole lot of print on demand shops because that's pretty much what I do. But we're going to go over different types of products and niches as well this time. And all of these shops are practically brand new. They've operated within at least one to two years and they've all done well over six figures. And when I say well over six figures, I'm talking about at the very least $400,000 and up and one of them has taken home at least $900,000 in their pocket in profit, which is crazy. And the reason why I wanted to choose new shops is because I want you to understand it's never too late for you. It's only too late if you never start. All right, so the first one right here is a wedding product. They are favors, meaning practically creating a small gift for a guest. And when I really dug through their listings, it's all chocolate. And for the most part, it seems like it's not too difficult to make, but I can't really nail it down just yet. I was able to find an imprint store who creates little chocolate treats just like that and it's directly on top of the gold foil so i'm not exactly sure how that is made i did do a quick youtube search and i wasn't really able to find too much information on finding out how to engrave the gold chocolate foil wrapping i do find a lot of videos on the actual pre-cut foil but i don't find anything on the engraving itself so maybe you can just buy a small engraver and just create the engraving but on a range of difficulty to actually be able to create these types of products it looks fairly easy especially the ones that are printed and obviously those are just printed stickers or wrappers but when it comes to the ones that look a little bit more engraved i feel like once you get past that gate kept knowledge and i'm sure if i dug around for at least an hour i would really be able to figure it out but once you're able to figure it out man you will be making some good old bank as you can see right here 20 plus people view this in just the last 24 hours alone and what i really like about a product like this when it comes to favors typically for an event or so on is it's just because of the fact that they're gonna order a lot. Your average order volume, especially for this shop right here, at the very lowest is looking like it's gonna be $27, $29. And at times, it can probably even be hundreds of dollars, especially if you're selling to someone who is having a wedding and you're having party favors for a wedding. Because right here for 50 of them, you see it's $57, but more than likely they're gonna be ordering 200 or 300 of them. And if you don't know by now, weddings, bachelorette, bachelor is one of my favorite niches because it is one of those recession proof, life changing time events where money and budget is thrown out the window because of the fact that when people purchase with emotion, they're less likely to look at the price twice. So I would say the barrier of entry to this is probably not as hard as it looks. You're just going to have to dig through some information. I honestly almost want to say it's easy to get into this, but I'll give it like more of a medium just because you really have to figure out the engraving portion of it. But it does look like a very profitable business and it doesn't look like they're working too hard to get these sales because they only have 52 listings. If you're on the print on demand side, you know how hard you have to work to really get a really high volume shop going. And also this is a shop that's not just trading. Trending, and this is something that you could build out into a real full-time business for a long time. Honestly, I would give a business like this probably an A plus because it's a nice product that does really well and it's inside of a niche that also does really well. All right, the second shop type is magnets, selling magnets. And a shop like this has done over $480,000 in sales. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look at their products. So as you can see, these are magnets, but I can see just by giving a quick look, it's not the typical magnets that you can just make really easily at home. I know there's a simple way for you to make magnets with just a household printer and it's really flat, right? This is more that 3D style fridge magnet. So as you can see, you can see that bevel and emboss on it so you know it's not flat. And if you have a die sublimation printer, you're probably wondering if you can make this yourself. You probably could, but the print won't be inside of that gap right there. But some of these actually look a little bit flat. So let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper. So right here, it does look kind of flat and it doesn't have that kind of edge. This might be a product that, man, I almost want to gatekeep this from you guys because, <laughs> because of the fact that I know this blank isn't really around. And the thing is you can create this blank yourself because obviously it's that blank that's really popular, this heart shaped bottle opener magnet and once again it's inside that niche that i really love which is weddings and this is a magnet that man this is amazing man i almost want to gatekeep this from you guys so 
So what I would do, I would hop on the Alibaba. I would find a supplier to create this magnet if it's not even already out there. And then I would be one of the other suppliers that's on the platform. This person probably doesn't have too much competition going on. There are other different types, but as you can tell, it's not that same heart shape. And there they are right there. They're popping up right there. I don't know if that's them or not, but let's go ahead and click on it. So they would get an offsite ad purchase right here. So this is not the same shop, but it's pretty interesting. So this is around somewhere. For those of you guys with a dye sublimation printer, you might just want to look into it for real. And I know these other products, they do fairly decent as well, the bottle openers, but you're not going to get that same amount of bulk volume like a shop like this is getting. So, you know, this might be something else that you want to look into. Bottle openers. So creating this type of magnet, I thought it was going to be something like this where you need the actual clamp to pop the image in and pop it into the magnet. And this is more of that fridge style, the one that I saw in the other image. So as you can see, it's more, it has that 3D effect and it's not just a flat magnet. So this right here will cost a few hundred bucks and then you would still need a dye sublimation printer, I'm sure. And then I believe you can get a sawgrass for around $600. So it's not too expensive to get into this type of business, but this, man, this shape right here is going crazy. I'm sure one of you all are going to be able to find this blank and hop into it. I'll probably give a rating to a business like this probably like a b minus just because i want to see a little bit more variety and it's just not as lucrative as the chocolate because i see the chocolate has some type of gate kept information that's holding me back to being able to figure out the information fast and i'm sure i can figure out this one really really fast but one other thing that you want to keep in mind is the fact that these are a lot of personalized products so when it comes to personalized products one thing that you're going to want to do is have a easy manager system especially reselling on Etsy so you might want to look into using something like hello custom that way you're not sitting there and typing out each and every single design as the orders come in so if you have Adam and Ashley's wedding popping up and they type that in every time that order comes in you got to recreate the design you have to change the date you have to change the anniversary number and so on so something like hello custom will automatically personalize the numbers anniversary dates the names or even an address so this right here makes it really simple for you to be able able to move a whole lot quicker than your competitors all right so the next one is sweatshirts but not like the sweatshirts that we typically see where it's like screen printed or direct to garment printed this is going to be embroidered all the products on this shop is embroidered we're talking about seven hundred thousand dollars in sales in just a year crazy and personally i've never done embroidery myself that's probably the only thing i've never done i've done direct to garment i've done screen printing i've done all the transfers i've done dye sublimation i've done all of those things but i've never done embroidery because it just always seems so intimidating to me. So you do have to learn not necessarily how to digitize a file because you can outsource that for a very affordable price, but I'm sure you need to learn at the very least the basics of it. And let alone, most of you all probably already need to learn the basics of graphic design. So then you gotta learn the basics of digitizing on top of that. But I'm sure it's not too hard once you really dive into it. But I would say it's probably a lot harder than creating those chocolate pieces. And obviously a shop like this is probably not going to be print on demand because they do have have unique placements that are on print on demand providers As you can see they have it near this collar and they have it on the sleeve and so on so i have a really good source for you so my friend alan at ada productions makes all kinds of videos a to z on embroidery but they're probably a little bit hard to find so i'm going to show you a little bit of a hack to be able to find those videos so we're going to head on over to his page and click on this search button right here and type in embroidery and check this out how to embroider on a t-shirt 3d puff embroidery demonstration Recon uh, machine settings how to embroider man jesus there's so many videos on how to embroider over here although embroidery is not something i personally done i've heard the margins are really really high like they near higher than just doing like t-shirts like standard print t-shirts so i'm unfamiliar with this and i get intimidated by this and i'm typically not intimidated by a lot of things i'll give this business model an a plus because once you learn it this is a skill that can set you for life however i will say the barrier of entry into this will be a little bit more expensive because you don't want to buy those cheap little embroidery machines that you see at walmart so i don't want you buying like something like one of these you probably want something like one of these right here once again you're gonna have to do your research i don't know too much about them but i know like a really good one is probably gonna be anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars and at that price point i know that's fairly expensive for most people to get into so the barrier entry is fairly high but this is a nice little skill set to have because once again if you're able to do this and you're able to do it in unique placement areas then you know you're gonna have an 
advantage compared to your competition. All right, so since we're on the topic of t-shirts and sweatshirts anyways, one of my favorite things to do is sell t-shirts. And we're talking about more of a standard print, directed garment, screen print, and even print on demand. So here's a shop right here, practically new within a year, $400,000 in sales. And as you can see, they're staying on trend. They're consistently uploading, which is really, really important to creating a successful print on demand store because this is the most competitive thing on Etsy because everyone has access to it. So barrier of entry is literally ground zero. Anyone can hop into this and although it is competitive, you can still make sales six figures in a year if you put the time and work to understanding exactly how you should be listing your products. So 4th of July is coming up and this shop is consistently uploading. So once again, if you have a print on demand store or if you know how to create t-shirts, consistently upload. But you have to consistently upload a quality listing. Now for those of y'all who don't know what print on demand is, this is a website called Printify. They create the products and they ship it to your customer for you. All you have to do is sell it like on the marketplace like Etsy. So you're probably wondering how do they create the products? Well, first of all, you have to upload your design to that product. So they have hundreds and hundreds of products that you can have access to. So even if you know how to create a t-shirt, you should still be leveraging print on demand because there's hundreds of products that are still doing well that your competitors don't even know about just yet. So that's the power of print on demand as well is diving in and finding products that your competitors aren't even selling yet. But here's a quick breakdown of how it works. As you can see, we have mugs, ornaments. We got some pajama pants, candles, we got metallic and silver gold mugs right here. So also a desktop calendar. So here's the thing. All you have to do is click on it, click start designing and whatever design file you have, you upload it and it attaches to that product on your Printify dashboard on your Printify account. And once you integrate it to Etsy, the product will get pushed on over to Etsy so customers can purchase the product. And once they purchase it, Printify is going to print it. They're going to ship it to your customer. And that's why the barrier of entry is so low to be able to get into the game. So rating wise, honestly, I would give this more of a B minus. Although I do love this business model, I can see why most would get frustrated with this business model because it's not necessarily setting you apart from your competition and the barrier of entry is very low. However, the reason why I love it so much is because it allows anyone and everyone to be able to get into it. And once you really start to understand it and when you can get it down pack, you can really make some serious sales. But at the same time, there's so much print on demand information out there that it becomes overwhelming to most people who's trying to get started and they get so overwhelmed they don't even know what to do properly and they're unable to get that first sale and it becomes a little bit harder compared to you creating one of those other products where there's not as much competition so i give this a b minus all right so here's that last spooky shop that i was talking about so this shop has done over nine hundred thousand dollars in sales selling spells and when i'm talking about spells i'm talking about a gambling spell a luxury car spell like this right here you could probably hop into ai lottery picks and i know what you're thinking i i've read this so many times as well i don't know how they're getting away with this and i don't even know how this fits in with the etsy guidelines the laws tarot reading spells like you gotta be really spiritual to be purchasing this you let me know down below are you very spiritual do you believe in spells because this is crazy to me look at this stuff remove curse spell and look at these prices super super creepy man six dollars and 66 cents ai lottery picks though man we could do that all day the barrier of entry of this is very very low like i would almost want to try this out but i'm very afraid that knowing my luck my se shot would get suspended like day one i don't know about this and it's to the point like i don't even want to try but i will say one thing even the small city that i'm from down in columbus georgia there's this one tarot reader and they've been open for forever like even made it past covid and there's some other ones i've seen one in orlando florida that's been open forever so i don't know man so when you do make a purchase you type in your information you get a digital download i'm not sure if they send you another product as well i would honestly think you could just do all of this with ai you can just go to chat gpt and let's type in give me 10 lottery numbers for a set of five so Let's go ahead and do it. Sure, here are 10 sets of lottery numbers for you. Crazy, right? <laughs> and then we'll just package this up as if we're selling it to a customer. So let's go ahead and make this look a whole lot nicer. So let's say I'm selling this set of numbers to a customer. My customer's name is John Wick. His birthday is June 10th, 20, actually 1982. Let's package this up nicely and include some numbers that may be lucky for that date. Check this out. Now it's giving it to me in like bold numbers and names and wishing you, oh, 
Man, amazing. Wishing you the best of luck, John. May these numbers bring you great fortune. And I'm seeing they've also started to include some of their birthday numbers. Let's see if they, no, it was up there before. I guess they just put this right here. Birthday lucky numbers or something. I'm sure we could rearrange some of the text so that it's involved in the lottery number set. And then we just need to remove the customer aspect and boom, we got a digital product. I don't know how well this is going to work. Man, you guys got to let me know. They even have a luxury car spell. You know what would be awesome though? If you look in the reviews and you see some actual social proof of someone was like i got my car but you don't even see any of that honestly i wouldn't even know how to rate this i would say give it a c plus if you don't know anything about it I, i'm just clueless here but if you guys know about tarot readings you guys know about spells you're a very spiritual person I bet you this is probably like an A++ for you because you're selling a digital product, zero barrier of entry. Well, apparently there's a big barrier of entry if you don't know anything about tarot readings and spells. But what I'm saying is you don't necessarily have to package a product that costs you money. It's a digital product at the end of the day. It costs you zero dollars to create it. It just takes you some time to be able to create the AI lottery picks or the gambling spells or the readings. I don't know exactly how it works, but I know it's not going to cost you any money. It probably took you some knowledge to be able to understand spells and blessings and curses and all that spooky stuff man six dollars and 66 cents is wild to me so i would give this business model a c plus plus if this video helped you out you guys go ahead and comment like and hit that subscribe button i would love to make more videos just like this but i need you guys to comment and let me know if this video was helpful